MCU villains, assemble. Since Endgame, there's been a giant Thanos-shaped hole in terms of a communal MCU villain. Thankfully, despite the fact that Thanos is one of the greatest villains in recent times, Marvel has enough villains to fill it. While Kang the Conqueror and Galactus have been theorized to be the next big villain, the real threat that our heroes could face could actually come in a group with a number of villain team-ups potentially on the table. Doctor Doom and Magneto I'm going to start off with the one that I find most exciting, although admittedly, this one is based on a rumor, and I'm not entirely sure it would work in the MCU, but boy I sure hope it does. As we mentioned already, Thanos is gone, and that's left a big bad void in the MCU, so what's the best way to fill it? Uh, bring in the two most popular supervillains of all time and have them team up, Doctor Doom and Magneto. Now, as I said, the who's, the what's, and why's aren't clear, but according to leaked reports, sources claim that Marvel are planning to have Doom and Magneto working together on a grand scheme with a huge payoff. Whether these reports can be trusted are unclear, but with Fantastic Four on the way, it has long been speculated that they might appear in the same movie with the X-Men. And what better way to do that than by bringing together two of the greatest villains? Both Magneto and Doom have appeared on the big screen already, of course, but are yet to appear in the MCU. It does pose a question though, would Marvel bring back McKellen or Fassbender for Magneto, or would they bring in a new actor? My personal preference would be McKellen, but let me know what you think. Also, who we thinking for Doom? I'd love Javier Bardem or Giancarlo Esposito for the role myself, but again, let me know what you think. Perfection. Carl Mordo. All right, so let's get back to some of the characters who have already appeared in the MCU for a minute. One thing fans noticed was that Chuatella Geo4's Carl Mordo was absent from Endgame, but the actor has confirmed that he's gonna be making his return to the MCU in the Doctor Strange sequel, hinting that his absence will be explained and perhaps suggesting a more sinister reason. Mordo is a likely candidate to be one of the potential villains in the movie due to his belief that there are too many sorcerers in the world, and with WandaVision bringing even more sorcerers into the MCU, Mordo could seek to wipe some out. It could also leave him eligible to team up with with another big bad. Theories have swirled that Mephisto and Nightmare could be the potential villains not only for WandaVision, but Phase 4 in general. And if that is the case, could Mordo team up with one of them? Or with Wanda also confirmed to be in the Strange sequel, could she potentially be the villain and team up with Mordo? There could be a more likely option though. The Thunderbolts Fans have long wanted to see a supervillain team up in the same vein as the Avengers. That is partly because one of the greatest criticisms of the MCU is the fact that, other than Thanos and Loki, the villains are often carbon copy of the heroes they're fighting, which make the fights seem somewhat repetitive. So having the supervillains team up against the Avengers could lead to a load of interesting matchups. One such supervillain team up could be the creation of the Thunderbolts. In the comic books, the Thunderbolts were a team of supposedly reformed supervillains, and a number of their members have already appeared in the MCU. The Thunderbolts were created by Civil War villain Baron Zemo, and with the character returning in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it stands to reason that he could be creating the Thunderbolts. Other Thunderbolts members include Justin Hammer, Abomination, Taskmaster, and Ghost. With these characters still readily available in the MCU, a potential team-up could very well be in the cards. And to have Taskmaster and not team him up with someone would be a huge waste. The door is also open for someone like Mordo to join the team and cause the Avengers a real headache. But the Thunderbolts also have links to another group of supervillains, the Masters of Evil. The Masters of Evil figured that, like the Avengers, they are stronger when they work together and in doing so, became one of the Avengers' greatest threats. Out of all of the supervillain team-ups, this is probably one most wanted by a majority of the fans. Like the Thunderbolts, Masters of Evil was also originally created by Zemo, and originally the Thunderbolts were actually the Masters of Evil in disguise. The Masters of Evil then could be even more likely created by Zemo in the near future. Members could include the ones we mentioned for the Thunderbolts, as well as villains such as yon Rog, the leader, and maybe even bring back Zola and Whiplash. But most importantly, the Masters of Evil could have ties to a fan favorite, Loki. 
in the comics, Loki helped influence the creation of the Asgardian Enhanced Wrecking Crew, who in turn gave the Masters of Evil the power to storm the Avengers Mansion. Loki has already worked with one villain before with Thanos, so there is a possibility that he could have a hand in another villain team up with the long-awaited Masters of Evil. Glorious. Sinister Six. Like the Masters of Evil, fans have eagerly anticipated Spider-Man's enemies, the Sinister Six, someday making an appearance in the MCU. The Six have all been confirmed to make an appearance in the near future, and it's basically just a matter of who's gonna be in the lineup. Despite his supposed death, Mephisto is highly likely to be a part of the Six alongside Vulture and Scorpion, and of course, Spider-Man alumni Jamie Foxx as Electro and Alfred Molina as Doc Ock. Others linked to the Six are Jared Leto's Morbius and Tom Hardy's Venom, alongside characters yet to appear, such as Kraven the Hunter, with Keanu Reeves reportedly tipped for the part. Although I don't really care who makes the lineup, I am all aboard the Sinister Six train. Choo -choo! <laughs> Kingpin and Norman Osborn. Another villain who could potentially be a part of the Six is Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin. D'Onofrio crushed the role of Wilson Fisk, and not being able to see him play the part was one of the saddest parts of Netflix cancelling Daredevil. But the Daredevil rights have returned to Marvel, and Charlie Cox has also been reported to appear as Matt Murdock in the upcoming Spider-Man movie, with him potentially being Peter's lawyer. I mean, after the Far From Home mid credit scene, he's probably gonna need one. If Charlie Cox does appear in the MCU, then D'Onofrio as Frisk certainly has to follow suit, and D'Onofrio's already stated that he's interested. But while he could be a part of the Six, he could also link up with another Marvel villain, Norman Osborn. Norman Osborn is another one linked to appear in the movie, with actor Willem Dafoe reportedly reprising the role. And although there is no suggestion from Marvel that Kingpin and Green Goblin are working together, how awesome would that be? Also, I wouldn't say no to having Fisk and Bullseye teaming up once again in the MCU, cause, well, I need some more Bullseye. <laughs> Mephisto and Loki. Now this next one could potentially be a cheat, as it might already be happening. But as we mentioned, Mephisto has long been linked to be the villain in WandaVision, as well as the Doctor Strange sequel. So, could he be working with an MCU villain already? After Agnes revealed herself to be Agatha Harkness in WandaVision, will Evan Peters actually reveal that he's the demon Mephisto? Snooper's gonna snoop. <laughs> Time will tell, but I'm pretty sure that we are witnessing a pretty cool villain matchup already. But if it is indeed Mephisto, and if he is not defeated in WandaVision, could he be a villain somewhere else? With him teased to also appear in the Loki series, could some sort of team up happen between them? I might be taking a big leap here, but you never know. Come on. What did you expect? The Grand Master and Yon Rog. And finally, if there is one thing the universe needs, it is more Jeff Goldblum. The same can also be said about the Marvel Universe. The fate of Jeff Goldblum's The Grand Master after the events of Endgame is unclear, but it's highly likely that the character was killed off seeing as he is the age of the universe after all. And if he is still alive, maybe he could link up with another MCU villain. And another MCU villain who survived their battle with a hero was Captain Marvel's Yon Rog, with the character being sent sent off into space at the end of the movie. In a deleted post credit scene, Yon rog ends up on the planet of Sakaar, home of course, to the Grand Master. Could there be a future team up between the two? Let's see if Marvel finds a way. To be honest, there are so many potential MCU villain team-ups that my mind is about to explode. The Doctor Doom and Magneto team-up would be absolutely insane. And maybe, maybe, even one day, we'll see the return of Thanos alongside another villain.